trusty roller or cheap sprayer? Which one's faster, but more importantly, which one is going to do a better job on my door here? Let's find out. For this little experiment, I'm gonna paint one side of the door with my ruler and a brush. And then I'm gonna spray the other side of the door with a Wagner paint sprayer that cost me about a hundred bucks. For the paint, I'm using a good quality semi-gloss that retails for about $40 a gallon. I like to start by rolling my initial coat first, then I'll cut in where needed, let that dry, and I'll keep coming back and cutting in as many coats as required. After all the cutting in is finished, I'll go back and roll my second coat. Most times, two coats is enough, but I'll roll three coats if necessary. So now I'm cutting in my second coat and I can tell that I'm gonna need a third coat with the brush. Once I finish cutting in my third coat, I'll apply my second coat with the ruler. And I can see that two coats is gonna cover this door nicely. So with two coats of the roller and three coats with the brush, that all took me approximately 18 minutes. Now for painting the door with the sprayer, I find putting the door on stands and turning it horizontal makes it easier on the back and arms, since the sprayer is actually quite heavy when it's loaded up with paint. You have to move pretty slowly because it's really just a fine mist that comes out even when you have the tip opened up all the way. Now one of the things I don't like about these cheap sprayers is that the motor inside warms up the entire sprayer and the minute you stop, the paint in the tip dries up really quick. So basically you need to take the sprayer apart after every coat and clean the tip right out with some clean water. It's a bit of a pain, but you won't be able to use the sprayer again until you do it. Now for my next coat, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction by spraying the whole side in a north-south pattern. And after I finish and let that dry, I'll need one more coat that I'll spray in the east-west direction like the first coat. So in total, I'll have sprayed three coats with each coat taking approximately three minutes. But if you take into consideration that I had to clean the sprayer nozzle each time, plus I had to set up the plastic to protect the wall from overspray, the total time it took me to spray this one side of the door was about 28 minutes, or 10 minutes longer than it took me to paint the other side by hand. Now once everything is said and done and I have the door back together, I'd say the finished product here looks actually pretty similar on both sides. If you look closely, you can see the brush strokes where I cut in, but you have to look pretty hard to see them. The sprayed side does look better overall, but if you're just painting a couple of doors, I'd probably just do them by hand, especially since you can leave them hanging wherever they are in your house. If you need to paint a dozen doors, then I think it'd be worth prepping a paint room with plastic, removing all the doors from the frames, and going ahead with the sprayer. Upon further inspection, I honestly can't tell the difference because both sides look great. I don't think you can go wrong with either technique. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!